This is the Hugh Jackman phone for people who know the ads. I got this phone from Real Reviews. I use this, which is a Samsung Galaxy S3 with a fat cover on it. First things first, it's got a very sleek metallic body. It fits in the hand really nicely. There's a big camera at the back, which is an eyesore. The 13 mega written on the back is a little annoying. You don't need to shout out about it. The sides are really slim. It's kind of metallic at the back is maybe a problem because it's a little slippery. One small criticism I have is that the power button and the volume controls fall to two fingers. So juggling the volume while you're talking is a little bit of a pain. If it was just up and down volume like this and the power button on the other side, like it is on the Samsung, um, maybe better. Oh, and one more point, the headphone jack is at the bottom. Somebody use their brains while thinking about this because when you put your phone down while listening to music, you put it down like this, you don't put it down like this. You want to look at a message while you're listening to music, you keep it like this. Somebody use their brains on that. And the charger point is on the top, which again, somebody use their brains because you're usually, the wall is there, it's not here, or it's not here. The screen quality is fantastic. I really like the screen. That's the first thing I noticed. That's when I got the phone in my hand, I put it on and the first thing was like, wow, what a screen. It's got a nice, vibrant display. Very nice, very easy to look at. The contrast is not jarring, which I find on the Samsung it is in absolutely bright setting. Uh, the whole touch and feel of the interface is fantastic. I am not a fan of Samsung's touchways. It's, I find it to be ponderous and slow. On the Micromax, within about half an hour of using it, I was zipping between things. The keyboard, uh, it's very responsive. That's the one thing I will say against my Samsung. This was way more responsive. Um, the only thing I find odd is that, just a second, uh, when I click on a contact, it doesn't give me an option of messaging it. It only gives me a phone option. I have to go to the messengers and con compose a message. In terms of performance, definitely faster than my Samsung. Uh, I've used this Samsung for more than a year. Uh, basic stuff like flipping between contacts, flipping to phone menus, loading apps, it's faster. One thing I did notice on the phone while using Google Hangouts to make a vid uh, video chat on Wi-Fi, uh, the phone gets very hot. This is something I notice also while installing a lot of apps one by one. Whenever the processor is running, it gets really hot. The Samsung also gets hot, but I guess this is a plastic body, so it does, maybe doesn't transmit the heat out to your hand as much as this, but this got to a stage where it is almost uncomfortable to hold. So that is a, I guess, a major bummer. I'm quite crazy about music, so I compared it with my phone and with my computer, and I found the sound quality to be a little disappointing. Uh, there are lots of equalizer settings, so you can fiddle around with it, but the native sound quality is not, well, it, it's just below the mark. I wouldn't say it's not up to the mark, but it's not perfect. And I used it with the same earphones on all three devices. I would rate it maybe say six and a half or seven out of ten. It's not a con, but it's not something I would sell the phone on. Uh, again, I would sell the phone on the way it functions and the, the way it looks and the way it feels. In terms of Pricing, I would pick this over the Samsung. This does everything that the Samsung does. It's a little bit faster and it's a lot cheaper. It's definitely worth looking at over the competition. I think at this price, the Nexus 4 is the closest price range thing or the Moto G. I, don't, I haven't seen the Moto G, I've seen the Nexus 4. This is easily comparable to that. Uh, all in all, very impressed. It's better than I expected. Um, I guess Hugh Jackman must have liked it. Otherwise, he wouldn't have endorsed it. <laughs>